Welcome back, family. Welcome back. It is I, Whirly. And it is you, the Whirly Gaming family. Back together. Reunited again in some Far Cry 3. And if I recall, and this is a big if, this is part 27, because I don't fucking remember at all. Ice, baits, and tackle. Cold drinks. Gas. This way. Is there actually something that way? Yeah, there is. Like right here. Oh, good job, game. You kept your word. Alright. So last episode, we started out like 70% done. And then we did like 40 relics as we dove balls deep into the deepest conversation we've ever had as a family together. I apologize if that was very annoying or if it was very I guess difficult to listen to because it was just there's probably a lot of me repeating myself so I'm sorry about that but you know what else uh, what else am I going to do? Just walking around collecting relic collecting relics what am I what, what else do I have to do I'd rather talk to you I'd rather talk to my family and you know what it's about time we had a meaningful conversation together so I figured why the hell not if you don't like it I'm sorry um I don't know what else to say but I'm sorry uh, it, it won't be that it won't be that meaningful that deep this episode that's for sure so maybe hopefully you'll like this episode better if you didn't like the last one but I'm sorry if it pissed you off because it was just so deep and emotional I'm sorry we have emotions here Jesus Christ what the fuck okay we started off at 70% last episode if I recall and remember remember what I said just two seconds ago it's a big goddamn if because I don't remember everything that happens in previous episodes. I don't even remember what happened two seconds ago. What am I talking about? Exactly. So now we're at 79%. We have 40 relics to go, 52 skills, and 6 missions. So I'm thinking we're going to do 20 relics. 20 relics right now. Do a mission called the episode. Then we'll do 20 relics next time and call the episode or I mean 20 relics and then another mission and then call the episode and then all that we'll have left is missions so then we'll just finish up the missions that we got and be badass When I looked it up, those fucking dog, like, Tasmanian devil things, the Thialemma in the sin. Yeah, those ones. Um. Yeah, they were in the 360 version. They were just in, like, a DLC pack. But they're cool as hell, aren't they? I've never seen one before. So I would say that I was quite shocked when I saw one with my own two eyes. Quite shocked. Like, electrocuted, quite shocked. 10,000 volts, quite shocked. Wow. All right, one down, only 19 more to go this episode. Can you believe it? 19. It's kind of a lot, but still. Last episode we did like 40? I think we almost did 50. I think we started off at like 33, 34. And then we ended up at 80. So yeah, like 40, 45, 50 relics. It took a long time. But we did it. We did it. 
We did it. Oh, yes, we did. Beyond a reasonable motherfucking doubt, we did it. And I'd say we look damn sexy doing it. Oh no, why? Okay, that's fine. I didn't even, I didn't want the option to pull my parachute. No, nope, I did not. Absolutely not. I don't think I would ever even consider asking for the option to pull my parachute. Why, why would, why would I want that? I want to die. Well, good job, Whirly, because you did. That's the one time you actually did what you said you were going to do. You wanted to die, and then you died. That's your one success in this whole Far Cry 3 playthrough. Oh, well, thanks, Mr. Audience Member. You're so fucking supportive. I love you, though. Love ya. <laughs> Oh my lord. Hold on, pause. I got an itch in my eye. I don't want to scratch it and then drive off the cliff as I do so. Pausing. Scratching. <laughs> Why don't you just narrate everything you do, you fucking piece of shit, really? Alright. I will. For you, since you asked. L left joystick forward. Left joystick still going forward. Pressing the A button. Right stick in. Right stick down. Pressing A button. Right stick backwards to slow down parachute descent. Landing. Turn around with right stick. And go forward with left stick. And jump A for a celebratory jump. How was that? Did I do good? I think I did good. Holy crap. But something in my eye is really quite annoying. Oh, I'm gonna like punch my pupils here in a second. I'm gonna literally take a spoon and dig out my eyeballs. Why, you ask? Why? It's because they hurt, that's why. But why? Uh, excuse me. I love this elevator music, by the way. Which I do not own, nor claim to own. All credit of this elevator sounding soundtrack should go to its original creator. I use it for entertainment purposes only. I am only portraying the original content of the video game. I am simply a gamer that shows all the original content of a video game. For the loving purposes of enjoying the video game together as a family. I'm not a thief and I'm not stealing this bullshit, okay? I don't even fucking want this song. I don't want my name on this song. Fuck this song. Just kidding, it's a great ass song. But I don't own it, okay? I don't wanna own it. I just wanna have fun playing a video game 
make a goddamn video and not have it be demonetized. What the fuck is that too much to ask YouTube? Apparently, but apparently you pick on the little guys, you pick on the little YouTubers, and then they get pissed off at you, and that's why you don't have any friends, YouTube. Fuck you, YouTube. You don't have any friends. I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend, Mr. YouTube. Even though you're mean to me. I'll kill you with kindness. That's my philosophy. Isn't that a Selena Gomez song? Shout out to Selena Gomez. Kill him with kindness. Is that correct? That has to be correct. I'm 99% sure as we run into another car that that is correct. Does Selena Gomez have a fucking song that's called Kill Him With Kindness? It's odd. I don't know. It's like on the tip of my tongue. And I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. I said calm down. You fucking fucker, he didn't calm down. You ass licking cunt sucker. Oh, that's some good coffee. Oh, wow. It's 11.45 p.m. It's almost midnight. And guess what? I'm still drinking coffee. Why? Because that's literally all I drink. My body is 100% coffee. But that's okay because I love it. Do you guys drink coffee? I know some people don't. I don't understand why. You just don't like the taste? You don't like the... You don't, you don't like it? Is it not tasty? I know some people don't drink it because of the caffeine or whatever. Well, guess what, Mr. Sir? It's called fucking decaf. So fuck you. Don't complain. <laughs> don't complain about the caffeine when you have a completely viable option of drinking fucking decaf. I drink decaf. I drink decaf all the time. I literally do not drink the coffee for the caffeine. I drink it for the taste because I love the taste of coffee. And I drink it straight up black too. No creamer, no sugar. Straight black. Just like how I like my women. Straight black. can't loot it that's fucking bullshit why can't we have like a, a wallet that's like um twenty thousand or like fifty thousand money capacity That would be fucking ideal. Ideal. Wow, I just sounded like Sylvester Stallone there. Um, I hope I didn't insult anyone by saying that I sounded like Sylvester Stallone, but that's kind of like the family guy depiction of him, right? That he's like, I'm Rocky. Rocky Balboa. I love Family Guy, it's such a good show. It's hilarious. Family Guy is fucking hilarious. I don't understand how you couldn't not like that show. But I don't have to understand it. Because I guarantee you all of you like that show. Because it's a good show. Right?
And if you say you don't like it, you're lying to me. Do not lie to me. Fuck this one. That we're gonna save this one best for last. Absolutely. One hundred percent best for last. Most pissed off for last. But do you like coffee? Comment in the comment section down below. If you do, if you don't, if you do, how do you like it? How do you take it? Do you take it black? Do you use 7.32 um, cups of sugar? That's right, 7.32 cups of sugar. I meant to say packets of sugar. My god, if you use seven cups of sugar, how are you alive? I'd rather say you use seven cups of creamer. That'd probably be even more healthy than seven cups of sugar. You know what, don't do either. Don't do either of them. Because that's not healthy either way. I just burped. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh. I do. Guess what? I do have something else right here besides me. Besides me? Beside me? With, is it with an S or not? Who cares? That shouldn't be something I worry about. It's just a word. It's just a word, worthy. Fucking let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I won't let you down anymore. Let it go. Let it go. I'm playing video games for show. Oh. Not only do I have my lovely, tasty, delicious, yummy, yummy cup of coffee right here. I also have, that is right, three, three gift cards. One Amazon gift card. One Google Play gift card. One iTunes gift card. And one of them is going to one lucky subscriber. Win? I do not know. Why? Or no. Win? Well, there's two wins. There's one win I don't know and one win where I do know. The one win... I do not know... Is when we hit 10 subscribers. Or no. The win... One of you is getting a gift card that I do know is when we hit 10 subscribers. So you will get a gift card, one lucky subscriber, when we hit 10 subscribers. But the win I do not know is when that will be. So there will be a gift card giveaway when we hit 10 subscribers. When that will be, I do not know. It could be next Tuesday. It could be today. It could be never. But we have eight subscribers now. And that's a blessing. And if we stay at eight subscribers forever... I'll I'll do the gif I'll do the giveaway anyway. But I want to do the giveaway at like 10 subscribers cuz to me that's like like each individual subscriber is like a huge ass milestone to me. So 9 subscribers is a milestone, 10 subscribers is a milestone, you get the picture. But what I'm getting at is like 10 subscribers is kind of like the milestone of milestones. Why? Cuz it's double digits. Oh. And at that point, I just want to give back to you guys. So, so, 
when we hit 10 subscribers, I'm gonna put all y'all 10 bitches' names into a drawing. Got me so far? 10 of you into a drawing. There'll be a random generator, picker, person, whatever. One of you will get selected. One of you will win. I will be like, hey, what's up, my dude or dudette? You won. Guess what? You're a winner. Holy fuck, you're a winner. Congratulations. Guess what? You're a winner. Moving on. Which one would you like? Because you are a winner. Which one would you like? Because you are a winner. <laughs> but seriously, when one of you wins, I'll message you. And then you'll be like, Google Play, iTunes, Amazon. You know, you'll just respond which one you fucking want. It's that fucking easy. Okay, you win, you get to pick which one you want, and then you're gonna get which one you want. The next step would be, that is right, there's a step two. Are you ready for it? I certainly am. Step two is I will send you the code of the card. I do not know how any of this works, if I can like gift it to your account or not, but with in terms of like the Google Play and iTunes, because I've fucked with those before, I haven't fucked with an Amazon gift card yet, but what I plan on doing is to me, what would be the easiest is I would scratch off the code myself and then just send you an email or like a picture of the back of the card. I feel like that would be easy, like easiest. I just message you what the code on the back of the thing is rather than like try and buy you a gift card and transfer it to your account and then you figure out how to redeem it. I, f I just feel like it'd be easier if I just reveal the code myself, send you the code and you can just type it in yourself. I feel like that would be the easiest, but that's how I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I feel like that'd be the easiest for you and I just want it to, to just be the easiest for you. I mean, it makes the most sense to me. I don't know. But we're at eight subscribers. That, that is right, family. We are eight family members strong. You know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Blah, 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 blah. Here's a toast to you eight, and a toast to eight more. Or whatever happens in the future. I will guarantee you, I'll personally guarantee you that if we stay at eight subscribers by... If we're at eight subscribers by... What, what's today? The 17th of June? If we're at 8 subscribers by the 4th of July, I'll just do the gift card giveaway anyway. Does that sound good? I don't know why I was looking over here for the relic. Holy shit. It's over here. I'm like, where's the relic? Where's the relic, guys? I put a marker here. No. The marker is just so I know where to turn. But yeah, if we're still at 8 at the 4th of July, I'll do it anyway. Because I'm just super excited to get back to you guys. Anyway. 10 subscribers, 8 subscribers. Even if we lose a subscriber, god damn it. Even if, if at the 4th of July, we're at 6 or 7 subscribers. I'm gonna do a fucking giveaway anyway. I'm just gonna do the fucking giveaway either way. Just on the 4th of July, I'm gonna do a fucking giveaway. Regardless of the number that we have. It could, we, I could be down to one subscriber, and then you're guaranteed to win. It'd be literally impossible for you to lose. So that, that must be some motivation to at least stay subscribed until July 4th. And then feel free to unsubscribe when, once you win the gift card. I don't care. I mean, you're your own person. Do what you want.
subscribe today. No, Win no, the no, gift card. No, no. Unsubscribe no. tomorrow. Help me. The gift card is just a thank you for Help you showing me. up in the first place. A requirement is not for you to be subscribed or stay subscribed. It's just a thank you for showing up and giving me a chance in the first place. So here's 20 bucks. Go fucking buy some stupid shit with it. Or some smart shit. Go buy a fucking subscription to ABC Mouse. Or Rosetta Stone. Learn something. Or I don't know, go to... ABC Mouse, what the fuck am I talking about? Or like... I don't know, go on... SilkExotic.com and buy like the biggest blackest, thickest, spikiest dildo you can. Buy a smart gift, buy a stupid gift. I don't care what you do with it. I just want to give you 20 bucks. Is that a bad thing? Take my money. Take my fucking money. I don't want it. I want you to have it. Go on, take the money and run. Yeah, take the money and run. Go on, take the money and run. Hopefully none of you are too young or too sheltered to know that Wolf song, Take the Money and Run. If you don't know that song, you don't know quality music. And I feel sad. I, I feel sorry for you. Google it. Google it right now. Google Take the Money and Run song. Listen to it. Love it. And listen to it again. And then love it again. Or don't love it again because... That would technically mean that you unloved it at some point. Right? If you love something again, that means at some point you unloved it. Do you know what? Listen to the song and then love it. And then guess what? Keep loving it forever. Never ever stop. Never ever stop for never ever ever. For never ever ever. For never ever ever. Go on, take the money and run. <coughs> I don't think that's part of the song. The. <coughs> yeah, that's not part of the song. I'm just being, I'm just being retarded. Take a little sippy sue coffee over here, a little sippy sue. Ah. Ah. Yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy. Fatty, fatty, sate, sate. Don't get a fucky fucky sucky sucky from a stranger. Cause you don't know what kind of yucky yuckies they have. <laughs> they could have some bad yucky yuckies like the herps. They could have the derps. They could have an STD. That doesn't rhyme. But that doesn't stop them from potentially having an STD. Just because it doesn't rhyme. Wait and see. We will be taken. I love the leg. 
Today's light is brought to you by Far Cry 3 Classic Edition on the Xbox One X. You didn't think that there'd be light, did you? Did you? Yeah, well, you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong. There is absolutely light. And there's light up the ass. Every single fucking time we get in a vehicle, there's light. Thank you, Microsoft. You really pulled through on that one. Oh, now I got the hiccups. That's never fun. Sometimes it can be fun. Oh, yes. This is about three frames per second at about 180p. And the resolution is about negative 4K. Well, I already said it was at 180p. How can it be 180p and negative 4K? It's, it's the same thing. That's like saying I'm playing on Master Difficulty and playing on Novice Difficulty. That doesn't make sense, you dumb piece of shit, you fucking whirly you. You got that right. I am Mr. Whirly Me. Mr. Whirly Me. I am me. Me am I. I am I, me and me, me, myself, and I. I never want to die. I never want any of you to die either. Oh my god, press it, press it, dive, die. Oh my god. Wet, sloppy, scab. I'm a wet, sloppy scab. I want to buy a t-shirt that says wet sloppy scab on it. I would never take it off. I would just shower with it on. Hunt, father, insanity, brother. Run, fuck, loading, look, watching, tatao, kill, loading, game, insanity, fuck. Lick? Why is Lick up there? Well, girlfriend was also up there. Haha, <laughs> get it, guys? Lick? Girlfriend, ha ha! I see what you did there, Far Cry 3 Classic Edition. You just remastered the jokes. The jokes are remastered in this edition, guys. Brought to you by Humor. And brought to you by the funnies. <gasps> Good one, Whirly. You really got me there. Sigh. Sigh. Go on, take the grenade and run. Don't take the money and run. That's stealing. But you can take my gift card and run. All you have to do is make two random accounts and then subscribe. Just go home, make two Gmail accounts, make two YouTube accounts, subscribe to me twice. Win the gift card, go home. Spend it on something. Go, go out and fucking treat yourself. Take yourself to a movie. 
It's like, yeah, I went and saw Deadpool 2 essentially for free. And all I had to do was make 10 different YouTube accounts and sub to this guy 10 times. And what an idiot, he believes it's 10 different people. I never said I believed it was 10 different people. But even if it's one of you, it shows that, you know, it's like, hey, one person out there somewhere on planet Earth cares enough about my YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, cares enough about our YouTube channel to put the time and effort in to make 10 different accounts and get, some, get a gift card. So it's like, hey, what's good, my dude? If only one of you is actually a subscriber, and you put it in the you put in the time and the effort that it takes to make ten different accounts and sub to me ten different times. I'd say you deserve the gift card. I'd almost rather just give you the gift card because you put in the effort. You put in ten times more effort than another person would. That's commendable. You know, I'm gonna give you a fifty dollar gift card. Who am I? Who am I? Is that Karate hey, Kid? Over here. I'm pretty sure that's Karate Kid. 99% sure that's Karate Kid. 10% sure that's Karate Kid. <laughs> I'm not sure that's Karate Kid. It's from something though. That much I can guarantee. Everything is indeed from somewhere. Even if it's not from like, somewhere somewhere, it's from my mind. So that, count, that counts as somewhere. It's like, no, Worley, that's not from anywhere. Well, then technically it's from my mind. So it is from somewhere. So I got you good on that one. Damn right. I got you good. Right at the marker. Go up here. Turn 
right slightly, dive head first into the pond of doom. Nice. Planned it. Nailed it. I wanted to dive head first into the pond of doom. You can't stop me. You can't tame the fucking beast. There's no way in hell you can tame Mr. Whirly over here. Unless you were like, Ariana Grande, wink wink, nudge nudge, please call me back. Ariana Grande, I left about 50 messages. As Adele says, I must have called a thousand times. Um, I don't own that song. Yeah, I don't own, I don't own that song either. I don't own any Ariana Grande songs. Um, I just want to make a disclaimer. I did not call Ariana Grande a thousand times, and I am not a stalker. I, 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 I do not want to get into any legal trouble. I did not call Ariana, Ar Ariana Grande even once. And that is a fact. I did not call her. Unfortunately, I don't even know her phone number. I wish I did, but I'm completely honest when I say... I don't know her phone number. If I did, I wouldn't be able to help myself. I'd call that bitch every day. Be like, hey, you single yet? And she'd be like, no, remember, I'm Ariana Grande, and Ariana Grande's never single, because no one wants to break up with Ariana Grande. Okay? No one. She does the breaking up. I can guarantee it. I would, I would 100... If you told me that Ariana Grande has never been broken up with anyone, I'd, I'd believe it. Because why would you? She's hot. She's hot as hell. Why would you ever break up with that? I would, I would put up with the bitchiest drama queen in the history of the world if she looks like Ariana Grande looks. I'm just saying. She's that hot. A shitty personality is is completely tolerable for someone that that that's that hot. You know what? I'll be completely honest too, because I pride myself in being 100% honest all the time. I I do not like liars I do not want to lie at any point in the future or at any time so I try and be as honest as I can as often as I can and that's something I'm proud of I'm proud to say that I try and live honestly but where am I going with this um Oh, yeah, her singing, her voice is not unattractive either. Her voice is not slightly the least bit unattractive. And yes, I'm using a double negative there because her voice is not unattractive. And you know what that means? Her voice is attractive. Like, her singing voice, I don't know why, I find it to be, like, sexy as hell, and, like, I don't know, like, almost romantic. I know that's pretty cheesy, too. That's very cheesy. like, Whirly, Whirly, you're gay, you know, you just said something was romantic, you're a guy, you're gay, um, what's wrong with saying something's romantic, it's just an adjective, I'm just using it to describe something, I hope my family is okay. maybe you're gay, and you're just af afraid to admit it, I don't know, I don't know your backstory, 
Moving on. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, her voice is just so attractive. I'm not even kidding, the notes that she can hit, I don't know why, but when she hits those high notes, I get them chills. I get them chills when she hits the high notes. I hope my family is okay. Like, what's that one song? What's that one song with that one rapper that was super popular and then came and went like instantly? Iggy Azalea. 99 problems and you won't be one. That song is like. And then she goes like. Yeah. One last problem without you. And one last problem without you. Yeah. I don't know. You know what I mean when she hits those high notes. For some reason, I find them attractive. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. When she hits the high notes, I find it very attractive. I'm sorry. I do. That's just who I am. I'm not going to apologize. Well, I'm sorry. But I'm not going to apologize more than this last time. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna apologize more than that. Because I just find it attractive. Too bad, too bad, suck it up. Cause I know you probably find it attractive too. And be honest, be honest, comment in the comment section down below. How attractive on a scale from 10 to 10 is Ariana Grande in her sexy ass voice? 10 to 10. And spoiler alert, you can't say anything other than 10 because it's a lie. But on the other hand, Iggy Azalea, I feel like she came and went so goddamn fast. But she is popular as hell. She took the world essentially by storm. And then, like, she just died out. And I don't think she's written a song in, like, a year or so. Same with, um... The male version of Iggy Azalea. Not like biologically, but I mean like coming and going that fast. Fetty Wap. Like, Iggy Azalea and Fetty Wap are both in the same boat. They're just the male and female versions of each other. And what I mean by that is they came, they rose to stardom, they were like the hottest thing on, you know, the music scene or whatever, and it just completely disappeared. Like, you might as well just be wiped off the face of the earth and kind of disappeared. And they just haven't, e they either haven't surfaced, they haven't written a song lately, or maybe they just made so much money so fast when they were so popular that they're so content with the life that they have right now. Like, I said so about 17,000 times there. But wh where I'm going with this is, if I was Fatty Wap or Idi Azalea, I wrote like five or six songs I was that pop popular, like, instantly, and potentially also, like, that rich, you know, that rich, that wealthy instantly from all the fucking money that you make with those goddamn songs, that it's like, you know what, I've written five songs, that's all I need to write. I'm still rich as fuck. I'm still rich as hell. Ugh. But all I did was write five fucking songs. And now I can retire because I'm wealthy as hell. Because that's what Hollywood does to people. Honestly, you go to Hollywood, you write one song, you act in one movie. You know, let alone you fucking act in like one stupid commercial. You're pretty much set for life. 
if I went to Hollywood and I wrote a successful s- song and I got like, let's say, $5 million from it, I'd retire. I can live off $5 million for the rest of my life. Guaranteed. And I don't care if people, like, know me as, like, super popular and then, you know, I fall off the face of the earth and then nobody knows who I am anymore because I'm not popular because I haven't written 37 songs. I just wrote the one. Like, I don't know. I don't need to be famous. I don't give a shit about the millions of dollars that I make from the one song that I wrote. I don't need to be recognized. I don't need fame. I'll just take the money from the one song that people listen to and literally I'll go on, take the money, and run. See, it seems like everything happens for a reason. We were singing about go on, take the money for run, or take the money and run. We were singing that lovely song and then we were talking about more songs and money and income and then somehow some way we can work our way back to singing that song again it all comes back to fruition it all comes back to fruition guys if i'm using that right but my god if we aren't just the clever clever here, 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 here goes my speech levels again. Just out the window. My speech game is quite lame. I should probably go take lessons in Notre Dame. Speech game is quite lame. Go take lessons in Notre Dame. But it turns out It'll all be the same. And again. I will remain. Quite. Quite. Lame. But yeah, I would write a song, literally, take the money and run, take the money and run, go on, take the money and run. I'm being fucking ridiculous, but it's okay. What I'm saying, I'll write a song, I'll take the money, don't tell anyone, so shh, keep it a secret. I'll retire and never do anything ever again. <gasps> And I'll just play video games for the rest of my life. I'll put in the five minutes of effort that it takes to write a quality song nowadays. And I use quality very loosely. Because some of the songs today that I hear on the radio, um, they're not quality. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, some of the rappers, like, they're fucking stupid. Their songs are stupid. But you know what? People nowadays and these do- goddamn kids on their cell phones and shit and these fucking millennials, they're stupid. Some people are just stupid nowadays. Rappers are stupid. Their songs are stupid. And stupid people that are stupid buy into this stupidness. And then they get wealthy, and then what gets reinforced because they're successful and they get wealth from their stupid songs? That's right, their stupidity. So stupid people support stupid songs, and then what gets more? What what do we get more of? The stupidity. And why is that the case? Because people think that because the stupidity is successful that stupidity stupidity works so then what do more people want to do 
They want to be successful. So how do they write songs? And how do they make new shit? Stupidly. So then it works back into every single song on the radio. It's just stupid. And I hate it. Like, what's a song that I can raffle off the top of my head right now that I absolutely hate? Um... Okay, maybe it's not as popular now, but what's that song by that one rapper? And I know I'm being extremely vague, but it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't for the life of me fucking remember it. God damn, it's on the tip of my tongue. Holy shit. Did you just fall? Oh my god. Rest in peace. You know what? I'm gonna take your skin. And I'm gonna sell it. Because you know what? You're committed. I'm gonna be like, hey, barkeep. Or marketplace guy. I'm gonna be like... What do you see here? And you'll probably say, Oh, it's a Komodo dragon skin. And you know what I'll say back to you? No. It's not just a Komodo dragon skin. This right here is the most dedicated and determined Komodo dragon I have ever come across. Because he put in so much effort to try and kill me and bite my ankle that he ended up dying and killing himself. He was so determined to get what he wanted, a little nibble out of my ankle, that he fell to his death. So this, my good sir, is not just a Komodo dragon, but he is the world's most determined Komodo dragon. And then he'll and then he'll buy it for me for like ten times the original price. Because what the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that goat? Oh my god, that goat did not sound like it was healthy. I know the song. It's I believe it's Lifestyle by that one guy. And my god, I do not intend to insult anyone here. But Lifestyle by like I don't know who it was. It was like Migos or Little Uzi Vert. It was by someone. I, I believe it was called Lifestyle. And it was like living life like a beginner and this is only beginning. I'm on the top of a mountain, but I found the clouds, and this only beginning. And I cannot stress enough how stupid that song is. Because if you listen to it, it quite literally sounds like he has Down syndrome. And I'm not making fun of Down syndrome people. I am making fun of him. Because... His, the way he sings is just like <laughs> And no It is not by Sylvester Stallone It is not Rocky Balboa It is Lifestyle By whoever the fuck wrote that song You Untalented Rapper You You're a disgrace Shout out to you though, but 
Because you made a song that kind of made millions of dollars. So, I mean, you're pandering to the lowest common denominator of today's youth. At least in terms of intelligent youth. But even you gotta admit, a th you you wrote a stupid song. I mean, you sound like an asshole. That's not that's not music. So stop, please. Never write another song. Never ever write another song again. But we're 20 relics down. We're at 100 relics. Only 20 more to go. 79% to 84%. We just beat 5% of the game in one hour and 47 seconds. Holy shit. That's exhausting. It is mission time. Paint it black. Oh, I'll paint that shit black. Oh, we have the Lost Expedition shits to do. Ooh. Stay tuned for another episode. That's coming up next. Well, it's not coming up next, but it'll come up eventually. Because... I mean, we have to do it. Because this channel does 100% playthroughs, and if we don't do it, then it's not a 100% playthrough. So we have to do it. But, who, but it's not going to be next episode, that's for sure. Good coffee. Shit. Shit. Um, what am I, what was I gonna say? Oh, next episode is probably just going to be the last 20 relics, one more mission, and that's it. And then we'll do the Lost Expeditions in the next, next episode. And then we'll do the ending in the next, next, next episode. And that will be the dun 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 finale. Oh shit, I just remember what I was going to say. Remember when I said, not only do I have um, this next to me, my coffee next to me, and then I said I have three gift cards next to me, Amazon, iTunes, and Google Play. I have one more thing next to me. Guess what, guys? I'm not All right. just... Time to unplug uh, Hoyt's phones. My God. I'm not just drinking coffee. Hello, I am Sam. drinking vitamin water, zero, a Thai blueberry pomegranate. That is right, zip. I'll let this guy talk, hold on. I'm gonna take a sip of it. I'm gonna take a sip, guys. Can you hear it opening? That's me opening the vitamin water. Now this is me taking this a drink of the vitamin water. Area. I'm not supposed to be here, so I don't think this uniform is going to help. That is right. I am drinking Vitamin Water Zero, a Thai blueberry pomegranate, getting my daily source of healthy vitamins. Yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy. I mean, there's only like two things I drink. I only drink black coffee, that is straight black, 100% pure black coffee, and water. So, I only drink 100% black coffee with nothing in it, and or water. And that's either water water, or vitamin water zero, a Thai blueberry pomegranate water. I don't drink any other flavors of vitamin water. And why, you ask? Because the pomegranate one's my favorite. And why would I ever want anything that's not my favorite? 
right? Why would you ever want something that's not your absolute 100% favorite all the time forever? Exactly. You don't. You always want your favorite drink, so goddammit, always drink your fucking favorite drink. I just fucking hate. But honestly, I hardly ever drink vitamin water, water either. It's 99% huh? coffee. But again, I don't drink coffee. Hold him down, But again, I don't drink coffee for the caffeine. No, no, no. Like, I would just drink decaf if that was all that was available. are made of steel. Explosives the trick. Yeah, but I don't drink coffee for the caffeine. I drink coffee for the taste. So if I had the option, caffeine versus decaf, I'd probably take the decaf just because, you know, there's no caffeine and I don't have to worry about my body getting used to caffeine. And then when I'm, if there's ever a time where I'm unable to drink caffeine, I'm not relying on caffeine, blah, blah, blah. But I just want to state, this episode is not sponsored by Vitamin Water Zero or Thai Blueberry Pomegranate. It is not sponsored by Vitamin Water. I wish it was, but it's not. If you want to send me free a Thai Blueberry Pomegranate Vitamin Water Zero, zero calories, but 100% taste. If you want to send me some free, you know, free a Thai Blueberry Pomegranate Vitamin Water Zero drink and then sponsor me. You can bet you yes. that every episode I'll be like, you know, drink this, it's the best, drink it. They sponsor me, fucking drink this shit, do it. But do you guys wanna know what my favorite flavor of coffee is? It is Cameron's. No, no, you ready no. for this? What the? If you want to write it down and then try it for yourself, yourself. Oh write God. it down and then try it for yourself. But my favorite flavor of coffee me. is Cameron's chocolate and caramel brownie coffee. That is right, Cameron's Chocolate Caramel Brownie Coffee. And this episode is also not sponsored by them. But if they want to send me some free goddamn coffee grounds, go right the fuck ahead. I'll, I'll sponsor you, or you can sponsor me, I'll do whatever. Just give me free shit, give me some free vitamin water, give me some free coffee, give me free whatever. I'll, I'll advertise your shit as long as you're giving me free shit. Just make sure the free shit isn't shit. Because I will not advertise bad quality stuff. I have standards, guys. Seldom that they may be, I still have standards. 
And I will absolutely not advertise something. I will not advertise in the future. Okay. I'm going to be honest. If this channel ever becomes big, which I don't expect it to, but if it does, and say I get sponsored by whatever, I can personally guarantee you that I will not advertise anything on this channel that I do not have 100% faith in. I will not advertise anything to you guys because my family, my YouTube family comes first. What the? My YouTube family comes first. And I will not advertise or sell or market anything to you guys that I do not think is of the highest quality and will serve you guys well. If I don't believe that it's of quality enough that I would use it for myself, if I, if I do not feel comfortable enough to use it for myself, I will not advertise it to you guys. Because my YouTube family, so all of you guys, you guys come first. And I want you guys to always know that. You guys, my family, our family, our family comes first. 100% of the time. The money is just secondary. And I hope you know that. That. And I knew that the barrels were going to be there because I, I played the 360 version. So just to let you know. There's barrels that get dropped there. So avoid the barrels, otherwise you're gonna fucking explode. Gotcha. But what I'm saying is, and I hope this makes you believe me, if you don't believe me already, that the money is secondary. And if you don't believe me now, believe me when I say, I wouldn't be giving a $20 gift card giveaway to 10 subscribers. Fire! if money was important to me. You think someone that cared about money okay, nothing to it, right? would give $20 this early in the stage of their YouTube career? You think someone would give $20 at 10 subscribers if they cared about money? I don't think so. But I don't care about money. I care about you guys. And my family, which is you guys, my, our YouTube family, comes first. Our family, the Whirly Gaming family, will always, and I promise, from the bottom of my heart, will always come first and always be of top priority. You mean, you guys mean a hell of a lot more than any money or compensation would ever be. And I, I, just, I want you to know that. And I'm being 100% honest. I'd rather have an awesome family like you guys than be sponsored by like fucking Nike and then sell my subscribers complete shit that breaks down after one use. So our family comes first 
Always. You're about to have zero bars. And that is a, a personal. Sam, that's it. The C4 is in place. That is a very personal, meaningful, guaranteed promise. That is a guaranteed promise. From the bottom of my heart, you guys are the most important thing. Never forget that. I will never do anything that does not consider you first. So for the 1,000th time, I will say this. Clear as day, I want to make this as clear as possible. You come first. Every decision that I make in terms of future sponsors, potential, potential advertisements, if it does not benefit you, it will not appear on this channel. You come first. Because if you're If you guys don't then I guess I'm just another scumbag YouTuber that only cares about money. And I am not just another scumbag YouTuber that cares about money. I'd like to believe that I am a loving YouTuber that only cares about his family. And that's right, I only care about my family. As I've said a thousand times. And it probably has also gotten very annoying. But I have to keep saying it because I don't, I don't think I can possibly make it as clear you're about to have zero bars Hoy. as it should be Sam that's it the C4's in place where are you the cavalry is coming my friend defend those explosives until I get there and everything will be a-okay Regroup! he's fucking with the dead come here get me Mike what was that
baby. But the theme of today's episode is like, you guys. Yeah, perfect. You perfect bitches. You lovely biatches. Guess what? The theme of today's episode is y'all bitches are perfect. That's theme number one. There's two themes. Okay, there's two themes. The theme of today's episode is you guys will always come first. Guaranteed. And that is a personal guarantee. It's a personal guarantee. So there. So there. Ha ha. Where is it? Where's the next mission? It's somewhere along here. I feel like this is the Nets mission place, right? And we have to meet them like right here. That's my guess. If I remember correctly, that's Dennis, where we need to go. I found my brother. He's alive. Let's what play the boy? guessing game. I have a plan to kill him. We he shall see. My brother. Riley needs my help. Yes, sir. You are warrior of the Rakiat. Let go of your path. Ties to your family. He's my brother. Remember, we are your family now. Oh my god. How fucking perfect are we? Guess what, Whirly Gaming family? We are perfect. Oh my god, that was so goddamn close. We pretty much got it exactly 100%. We nailed it, okay? We nailed it. Pat ourselves on the back. Ready? Pat ourselves on the fucking back. We did a good job on that one. Alright, but 20 relics down, one mission down. Next episode, we'll do the same goddamn thing. 20 relics, one mission. How does that sound? Uh. How does that sound? That was a good burp. It sounded pretty good. To, it sounded pretty good to me. Hopefully, it sounded pretty good to you. So I will leave you with the taste of my burp in your mouth. I hope you appreciate it because I appreciate you. So thank you all for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. If you like the video, subscribe to support the channel and become a member of our family. Once again, I love you all. And until next time. Game on.